To all of you suggesting that I use an in-game editor to just give myself the players I want, have you no honour? But anyway, in this episode, we're going to finish the pre-season and we're hopefully going to bring in some proper signings. Also, I meant to do this sooner, but I somehow just managed to completely forget. I want to give a shout out to the Reddit user Herbball, whose Millwall career gave me quite a bit of inspiration for this series. He's basically been working on this career where he turns Millwall into the most aggressive team in the world. I'll leave a link to his Reddit escapades in the description. If you haven't seen this already, it's absolutely hilarious. So this is going to be the team for this game. As you can see, a lot of the first team players are very tired still from the last one. But I really don't have high hopes for this game. There he is. Uh-oh. Oh, good lord. That's not the start we need. What have we said about short passing play? It's not going to happen. <laughs> He's off the tackles. It's half time. It's not been the best half, but we're bringing on the star of the show, a Foleyan, to give Joe Garner a rest. Oh, I forgot to give him a team talk. They don't get to listen to my glorious booming voice. Oh, go on. Win that. Oh, go on. Somebody wants to find me. Oh. Oh, they've got a red card. Oh, my heart weeps. Right, you know what, it's the last 10 minutes. We can we can get attacking. Oh, David Martin the cat. Oh, he's not gonna get that first, does he? Not quite, come on. Oh, nice Nick, go on. Go on, charge. This is this is a nice little counter. Play it in. Oh, look at him go. Oh, it was <laughs> interesting. Go on, yes! Oh, five minutes to go. <laughs> Lovely, lovely finish, nice little counter-attack and <laughs> a little bit scrappy. I I've seen that kind of goalkeeping before. <laughs> oh dear, surely. Oh my goodness. Oh, Martin with some more heroics. Nice, no. <laughs> some serious hold the door action. <laughs> that could have been a red card, probably should have been. And it's done. I'm actually very impressed with that performance. I did not think we were going to win with our cobbled together second team, but they've managed to scrap a solid 1-0 victory, so uh, well done. We finally managed to get one of our key targets. Joe Hart has joined the club, and I cannot wait to see him in action. Phoebe's calling for someone to be sacked at Burnley for selling the Joe Hart to me. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. The odds for the season have just come through and we're being priced at 300 to 1 to win the league and being told that mid-table is a good target. We'll show them. I fully thought their manager was called Uwu for a second there. Another thing we're doing is recalling Jordan Hugill from loan. Uh, he's got some really good stats actually. Great work, great determination, bravery and dives into tackles. He will definitely help us this season. So this is the second team for today. Joe Hart is going to take his position between the sticks and I've decided to go with more of a mix of uh, first and second team players so they don't all get exhausted at the same time. How are we already two yellow cards to nil? Like, come on, show some passion. Oh, good head. Oh, he's got space though. Oh my goodness. What just happened? <laughs> what? Declan Rice's own goal? I mean, what happened here? Oh, it's just, just fully bounced off his back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Down the line. Oh, it's another red card. A huge injustice. Oh, I died. He's just run straight through. Go on. <laughs> How did he get that much power on that header? They're a man down. We should be absolutely hammering them now. Oh, go on. Frederick is through. Yes! Come on. Nice, nice. Lovely. Oh, and Declan Rice. Come on. Release the Kraken. <laughs> oh, we'll play it wide. That's, that's good too. Oh, Frederick is through again. Go on. The absolute terror. Oh, <laughs> Unlucky Joe. Oh, I just realised our two signings have been Joes so far. That means absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to attack them now because they are a man down. Oh, hello. Here's a chance. Go on, Declan. Play him through. Corbett, yes! Oh, another, another goal for the young uh, for the young winger. We've absolutely just hit them with the old one too. <laughs> Goalkeeper positioning. He's, he's been beaten at his near post there from, uh, from quite far out. Imagine being beaten at your near post. Happens to the best of us. I'm happy enough with that performance. Good clinical stuff. Keep it up. They're a man down. Let's get that result. Oh, nice flick. Go on. Oh, nice, nicely laid off. Corbett could be through here for a second. Oh, unlucky. Another chance. Good heavens. This has been quite the performance so far. <laughs> Crutchwell's just cracked that against the uh, Dusseldorf player. Come on, this is a good chance. Oh, nice in swinger. Come on, second. Second go. Joe. Yes! It's another headed goal for Garner. Oh, he's really proving his worth. Just watching these headed goals go in. It gives me endorphins. I like how my manager is like switching from uh, hands on hips to crossed arms. It's really Darish of him. Frustrated by being told to show some passion. 
Corbett, you're not going to last very long here if you uh, have that kind of attitude. There we go, another delightful performance. Again, they were a man down, but uh, we really did outplay them. 24 shots to 13, and another headed goal to really put the cherry on top. So my scouts have returned from their travels, and I have some bad news as Ben Mee has no interest in joining. Let's see if we can get Mark Albright in. He'll be a good signing. After the news about Ben Mee, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and confirm the Basham deal. Unfortunately, not our top target, but solid business nonetheless. Joe Stevenson is accusing me of being against modern football. Brings joy to my heart. When will you learn? That I'm not interested in loans. I've gone ahead with the All Brighton deal because I'm sure we'll be able to shift enough players to bring in our other targets. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, so I've just seen the team that we're playing against. Um, it's, it's, it's not Zebra. It's, it's Juventus. I think maybe it would be a mistake to play attacking then. Yeah, I'm going to tell the team that even though we're underdogs, we can get out there and show them what we're made of. Let's try and win this game with some serious Dunkirk spirit. Oh, go on. Come on. Balls in the box. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Ronaldo's through. It's almost two minutes in. Joe, come on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's given away a penalty. Go on, Joe. You can have him. Oh, dear. Come on, Watson. You can, him you can take him. Oh. oh it's, <laughs> it's three games in a row now that the opposition's got a man down. We're never going to go short passing play. When will you get that through your thick skull? Oh, now Aaron's, Aaron's charging down the hole. Come on, you can't, you can't out reward me. That's just not fair. Oh, great save from Hart. Go on, get your cross in. Oh, hello. Surely not. Go on, get your tackles in. Oh, dear. Oh, oh my goodness, another absolute cat-like save from Joe Hart. He's really keeping us in this game so far. Oh no. <laughs> what just happened? Joe, after all that good work, I want to watch this again. Yeah, what, what happened here? <laughs> Interesting turn of events. Okay, so it's half time, things aren't going great, but I've made some changes. Afolayan's gonna come on for Ghana, and Cresswell's gonna come on at left back. You know what? Cautious isn't working. We're gonna attack. Bringing Bowen in for Albrighton as well. He's put in a good shift, but uh, it's time for some fresh legs. Surely. Surely the time. Go on, get your cross. That's it, that's it, that's it! Yes! Hugh Gill, Hugh Gill, I don't know, he's managed to get that near post flick. See, what do I tell you? You get your crosses in, you get your rewards. That's how it works. Yes, Hugh Gill, use the frustration. Oh dear. Oh, he's got so much space. Oh, another delightful save. Hart has really been on his toes today. Oh, damn. But that's the end of the Juventus game. We did well to pull one back, but it was too little too late. I can't complain too much. 2-1 down to Juventus is a good result, but that's not what I'm going to tell the players. Yeah, luckily that was only a friendly. You need to be much better than that. Oh, Neptune. The transfer deadline's in a week. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're not ready for the season. I love how people in this game just accuse players of faking injuries. Like, sure, a sports hernia. <laughs> And here's how we're lining up for game number four. Basham's gonna come in at centre back, and I've decided that Garner and Afolian are going to lead the line. Good simple football. I like it. Oh, he's found, he's found his man in the middle. <laughs> Imagine playing it back from there. Oh, oh dear, look what you've done. I'm trying to bring Brexit ball, not Emery ball, to the club. Well, sure. You're going the right way for a smack bottom. Oh no, oh no, not another one. Oh, it's another very close effort. It's half time, not the most interesting half. Oh, that's oh, that's perfect. Yes, we need more spirit and more fight. Oh, that actually works. <laughs> Love that. Joe Garner's body language is aggressive. You can imagine he's just strutting around the uh, dressing room looking for people to rub with. Yes, good tackle, Jack. Go on, watch that counter. Oh, that's some lovely desire to get up the pitch. That's what I like to see. Nice. Go on. Surely somebody needs to get the shot off. Oh, Garner! Oh! Loop that. Oh, I thought that could have been in. I think this could well be our first goalless draw. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was nearly a little embarrassing. Jack. Surely someone's gonna make the run. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Why would you play that back there? What was the purpose of that? You were through on goal. Oh, that's a good interception. Oh, this could be it. Antonio, he's released. Hugh Gill. Oh, it's, a, it's a wet noodle of a shot. Oh, God, well. <laughs> what? Oh, dear. Oh, don't you dare. 
surely not please be offside oh great great diving header there we go i'll take a draw after that one it wasn't the greatest performance but i think the lads need laying into Okay, it's transfer deadline day and things are not looking particularly great. Oh great, we finally got an offer for Ogbonna. Yes, we got an offer for Diop too. Oh no, oh that means no Matt Smith. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this is actually so intense. I know I'm gonna cut a lot of this out, but uh, there's an hour to go on the transfer deadline and I'm desperately trying to bring in whoever I can. Yes. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. We've managed to bring in Billy Sharp with half an hour to go. My heart. <laughs> and with that, the transfer window slams shut. Unfortunately, we had to miss out on quite a few key targets, but hopefully January will come round and we'll be able to try again. But in the dying embers of deadline day, I managed to bring in a few more signings. We got Billy Sharp, who's obviously, you know, another leader with a good work rate, and Kyle Bartley as well for another budget option. He's brave, he dives into tackles, and he's an absolute unit. But anyway, minus a few injuries, this is what the team is looking like and this is probably what's going to go out in the first proper game of the season against Man United. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed episode three and I'll see you for the next one.